The text join function is a new function that is available starting in Excel 2019 as well as Office 365. It allows you to join two or more strings together with each value separated by a delimiter. Let's take a quick look at how to use the text join function in Excel. Here we have four columns of data. Let's use the text join function to join the values from these four columns into a single result with a comma as a delimiter between each value. To get started, let's begin by entering the text join command. As you can see, the text join function takes a number of parameters. The first parameter we will enter is a delimiter. This is a string that will be inserted between each text value. Most commonly, you would use a delimiter such as a comma or space character. In this tutorial, we will use a comma. The second parameter determines whether empty values are included in the resulting string. True ignores empty values, and false includes empty values in the result. So let's enter true so that empty values are ignored. The next parameters are the strings that you wish to join together. You must enter at least one string, and you can enter up to 252 strings in total. In this example, we want to join the values from columns A through D, so we will enter A2, B2, C2, and D2. Now let's see what our text join function returns. You should see the value A, B, C, D appear in cell E2. This is the concatenated values from cells A2, B2, C2, and D2, with commas delimiting each of these concatenated values. Now let's copy our formula into cells E3 to E5. Notice that in cell E3, it has converted our numbers to strings, and then concatenated the values to return 1, 2, 3, 4 as the result. In cell E4, the text join function has returned tech, comma, on, comma, the, comma, net. And in cell E5, the text join function has ignored the empty cell C5 and D5 and returned alpha, comma, bet as the result. This completes our example of how to use Excel's text join function. If you would like to see more examples or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.